story you're about to see concerns an organization within the Communist Party which struck at the core of democracy's defense, the men of the armed forces. this invitation. Oh, of course. Come in, comrade. Uh, Trowbridge. Arthur Trowbridge is oh. the party name. Of course, comrade. This girl catches on quick, Philbrick. She's used to phony names and all the other party nonsense. What do you suppose this is all about? Nice spot, isn't it? Very nice. Why all the uniforms? You'll find out soon enough. Hi, Bud Hanson, this is Arthur Trowbridge. How do you do, Arthur? How are you? What branch of the service are you in? Oh, I'm afraid I'm not in the service. Mr. Trowbridge didn't come to our party, but he came to talk to Myra. Oh. Myra's quite a gal, isn't she? Well, there, there are not many like her. You'll find her through that door. Thank you. See you later. Sure. Know what to expect out here, but it certainly wasn't servicemen partying with young, pretty comrades. Whoever the sergeant is, he ought to be more careful about picking his friends. Come in. Please shut the door behind you. I'm Myra Halt, comrade. How do you do? I suppose you spoke to some of the girls outside. Yes, uh, one of them, a young lady named Seal, I believe it was, told me where I could find you. Beautiful, aren't they? <laughs> They're lucky girls. They can serve the party not only with their brains, but with their looks, too. That's something I could never do. Oh. Uh, I'm not familiar with your group, comrade. Naturally, its existence is sacred. It's called Sweethearts for Servicemen, based on a very simple idea. The fact that lonely servicemen are easy prey for pretty girls, since men don't care about anything but looks anyhow, it seemed to me that servicemen's girls might just as well be communists as not. Hmm. Uh, has it worked? The party thinks so. Let me show you some of our boyfriends. Nice looking, aren't they? Hmm. They're all from important units. We managed to make some friends for the party among them. Also tried to encourage some AWOLs and desertions. By getting them to trust communist girls? They trust anything with a pretty face and a gentle voice. I suppose you're able to pick up bits of military information while these romances are going on. When we're lucky. Most of the servicemen are security conscious. But the girls pick up little things. Remarks about clothing issues, vaccines, orientation courses. As a matter of fact, one of our most important projects is going on right now. Uh, what's that? That boy Hanson sitting there with Seal is with a guided missile unit whose training is almost finished. It would be very useful to know where that unit is being sent. I intend to show that my group can supply that kind of information. I wish we had more time together. How do you think I feel? I haven't been able to think of anything but you since we met. I've never been able to get along with a girl like I have with you. It isn't over. It almost is. My unit's almost ready. We'll see each other. We'll see lots of each other. I know they won't send you far away. I'll go A-W-O-L. <laughs> no, you won't, darling. You're too good of a soldier, and I want you to stay a good soldier. Only they give us an idea of where we're going. I... Let's not talk about it. The important thing is that you're here now. I wasn't thinking of only today. You're not just another girl, see you. I've been wanting you to say something like that. But you know we can't make any plans until we know where you're being sent. I just hope we can keep on seeing each other. I 
I love you, buddy. You feel like you're peeking through a keyhole, don't you? Myra Hout doesn't feel that way. She's enjoying the role of communist Cupid. She's getting even with all the men who never took her out. Just how do I fit into this uh, project of yours? I intend to use your skills as an advertising and publicity man. I just completed some calculations. The average time our girls see the men is a month to six weeks, which is not really long enough for us to get the kind of results we're after. Can't the girls maintain contact with the men by writing letters? We've tried, but writing the kind of letters that sell our ideas is difficult. That's where you come in. Comrade, do you really think that I can teach these young ladies anything they don't already know? I'm sure you can. You'll begin by preparing a set of form letters containing paragraphs of propaganda, which the girls can insert into their letters. I see. And you'll include sentences designed to lead the boys into talking of their activities and the activities of their buddies. Mm. Do you find the assignment appealing? I'll do what I can for you. Your performance will be judged by the number of servicemen it influences. You'll deliver the material to me as soon as you've completed it. One copy, comrade, and one copy only. And deliver that to me in person. Right. Well, it was pleasant talking to you. How soon will I be seeing you? Oh, pretty quick. This is the sort of stuff you can knock off in a hurry. pleasant chat with Myra? Oh, yeah, talking with Myra is always pleasant. Seal tells me you've been Myra's financial advisor for years. Uh, yeah. Yeah, have you known her long? No, oh, just a few months since I met Seal. Bud has to get back to the base tonight. We were wondering if you'd drive him. Oh, sure. It sure would be wonderful if you would. Well, I'll be glad to. Come on along. an interest in me and my aim in life. When I got into the service, I didn't even have a high school diploma. It takes a lot of evenings to get one through the mails, and a lot more to get an engineering degree the same way. You did that, got the degree last year. It's paid off in a lot of ways, but I was lonely, not anymore. Thanks to Seal, or could it have been any nice girl? No, it had to be Seal. She's warm and bright, and she understands me. Hey, I better be getting to the depot if I'm going to catch my bus. Thanks a lot for the ride, Arthur. I hope I see you again. Yeah, I think you will. He's on the level. A hard-working, intelligent soldier, a good man, except for one thing. He's in love with a communist. That's the kind of romance the FBI frowns on. You better get it off your chest to Special Agent Bob Marshall. To be seated, sir. Put your name and address on the card. I volunteered. You gave me fairly complete information on the phone, or with the questions you had. What about those letters they want me to write? I'd hate to think I was actually influencing any soldiers along communistic lines. Don't worry about the soldiers. They're not as easily influenced as the communists would like to think. You go ahead and write the letters, only send us copies. Can you give me the names of any of the people you met? There's the woman who's at the head of it, Myra Hope. She lives on Sutton Street. And there's a good-looking girl named Seal. I didn't get her last name. And the Air Force sergeant who's in love with her is named Bud Hanson. He's with the guided missile unit over at Fairview. That's P-H-I-L-B-R-I-C-K? That's right. Guided missiles. That's a pretty delicate security area. I'll have A-2 have Hanson and his friends checked and watched. When can you get us the copies of those letters? I'll have them in the mail in the morning. Looks like a long night in the attic. So join this line, sir. It'll be just a few moments. Next, please. doesn't 
think love letters should be typed in duplicate. She'd be very annoyed if she knew there were eavesdroppers on the romances of her sweethearts. Especially if she knew they were FBI eavesdroppers. When Bob Marshall goes to the cleaners tomorrow, it won't be just for cleaning. I heard, but I didn't expect to see you so soon. Well, I finished a batch of letters. I thought perhaps you might be in a hurry for them. As a matter of fact, I am. I hope they're okay. If they are, I'll have more work for you. Within Sweethearts for Service, ma'am? Yes. With whom? I wish you wouldn't ask so many questions, comrade. It makes me uncomfortable. It could even make you more uncomfortable. Another party? Not the same as the last one. This one's more important. And you're the guest of honor. Oh. Who else is going to be here? Out of town leaders in the Sweethearts Movement. They were brought here especially on your account. Maya liked the letters you wrote so well that she wanted them to meet you in person. Why? She wants you to talk with her. She thinks you're an expert propagandist. From the tone of your voice, I gather you don't agree. I thought we did all right before. But then, who am I to disagree with Myra? Girls, I want you to know that I'm very proud of you. You've done a very fine job. You've all done a very good job. We've had a great deal of progress in our organization, and I have wonderful reports to make to our superiors. But today, I feel that we need a little outside help. Comrade Herb. Comrade. These are very special girls. I think you should know something about them. Comrade Louise, department yeah. store buyer, supervises a group of girls whose contacts are in the big marine base near her county. Comrade Alice, executive secretary. She's in charge of a group of girls operating in the airfield in her city. Comrade Laurie, photographer's model. Her girls are mostly concerned with naval personnel. Comrade Claire manages a post exchange. Good spot to meet plenty of soldiers. These girls and the ones they supervise are in the address books of a lot of servicemen. But you've got to figure out a way to get them into the address books of the FBI. You won't be able to fool them, Philbrick. You'll have to give them the best information you can on the best way to make a serviceman betray his country so that he doesn't even know he's doing it. You take over, please. Yes, thank you. Well, now, comrades, the problems facing you, whether it's in your personal contacts with servicemen or whether it's in your letter writing, are a small example of the same problem that faces the whole party. That problem is this. The American people have become very alert to our propaganda. And so we've got to be subtle. We've got to insert and in, inject this propaganda into our conversations and into your letters in a very indirect way. This will be taking notes, Philbrick, taking down every idea you give them. But maybe at the same time, they're giving you a way to identify them for the FBI. And 
So you see, no matter how long we talk about it, we'll always come back to the same point. And that is that propaganda is selling. Now, if, if I've impressed that on you, and that alone today, I feel that I've done a good job. I wasn't expecting anyone. Seal, see who's down there. Yes, ma'am. The meeting is over, girls. I think you'd better go out the back way. Oh, uh, just a moment, comrades. What was said here, we want kept in your heads, but not anywhere else. So I wonder if you'd mind leaving your notes on the table as you go out. He's right. Burn them in the fireplace. Come on, girls. I'll show you out. To the left, please, girls. You've got their fingerprints now, and you're not going to burn them. But you've got to burn something. Seal not back yet? Uh, no. How's the draft in there? Oh, seems to be fine. Oh, yes? I'd had trouble with it. What's this? It looks like printing. Printing? Oh, it couldn't be. I'll, I'll get it for you. Oh! Oh, sorry. You should be. Hello, Myra. How are you? Fine, bud. I've been wondering when you'd pay us a visit. Hello, Sergeant. It's good to see you again. Uh, Arthur Trowbridge, wasn't it? That's right. Won't you sit down, make yourself comfortable? Well, thanks. I can only stay a few minutes. Bud's leaving us. Leaving? When, bud? Day after tomorrow. My orders were waiting for me when I got back to the base. That's why I wanted to see Seal. Uh, where are they sending you, Sergeant? <sighs> Sorry, Arthur. Bud's in a secret unit. No one's going to know where it is. Well, then how come you're off the base if you've already got your orders? I may, Wal, and I just hope I can get back to the base before they miss me. It would have been terrible if you had to go away without seeing Seal. Well, I'm afraid the Major wouldn't agree with you there. How about going out into the garden, darling? I think we could talk better, aren't Sure. We? We'll just be gone a minute. Take your time. Think she can get the information we want? That's hard to say. He's not a loose talker. The seal's a very smart girl. And she knows his weaknesses. Writing to an army post office number and not knowing where the letters are being forwarded, dreaming about you, but not being able to put you in your surroundings, not knowing what you're doing or where. Those are the things that are going to make it so hard. But it won't be forever. It'll seem like it, but... Even if we were married, it would mean a long separation. Then it's overseas, isn't it? We all knew that before. What are you smiling about, darling? I just thought. I won't even know what nationality the girls are who will be giving me competition. There won't be any competition. You'd like to run out there and tell the sergeant to get back to his base. You'd like to warn him that any information these women get from him is headed straight for the enemy. You'd like to tell him to take his hat and run. of sets of military orders, Philbrick. The sergeant's even more careless than you thought. If you don't get those orders, his friends will. They're coming back now. Funny, I've always despised beautiful women. The seal's doing something that I could never do. Comrade, I... Yes? Nothing. Rod's got to leave. So soon? Yes, I can't take the chance of staying away any longer. How are you getting back to town? Oh, I borrowed a car. Are you driving with him? Or isn't that necessary? It's not only necessary, but I want to do it. So long, Arthur. So long, Sergeant. Goodbye, Myra, and thanks for everything. You're welcome, buddy. Well, 
looks like Comrade Seal drew a blank, huh? I'm not worried about Comrade Seal. Give me those papers in your pocket. Uh, which papers? How many do you have? Oh. Oh, you must mean these. Weren't you going to tell me about these? Well, the second I was sure the sergeant was out the front door, I, I didn't want him bursting in here looking for lost property. Very well, comrade. That makes sense. I know your car is in town. I'll send you in in mine. conspiracy. Instead, they became a valuable medium for distributing false information to this nation's enemies. Next week, we'll bring you another story from the files of Herbert A. Philbrick, citizen, communist, counter-spy. Mm -hmm.